All right, back for another beer review, and today I will be reviewing a beer from the Dayton Beer Company, and they are out of Dayton, Ohio, and this is their Christmas stout. So they're calling this one a milk stout that is brewed with cinnamon, molasses, lactose, and vanilla. It comes in at 5.5% alcohol by volume, 22 IBUs at the time of review. I don't know exactly how old this can is, but considering it's a Christmas stout, and I'm reviewing this one in the middle of December, I would imagine that this can is no older than three months old and uh, it's likely that it's even fresher than that. And I want to give a huge thanks and shout out to a good friend of mine and fellow beer tuber Jay over at This Guy's Thoughts for hooking me up with this one. In the description box, I'll post a link to both his channel and the beer mailboxing video I did that contains all the goodies he hooked me up with. And he's a great guy. Go check out his channel. If you like beer reviews, he's got you covered. If you like soft drinks or energy drinks or uh, spirits, maybe alcoholic eggnog, he has you covered there too. Great Great guy, great channel, and um, I cannot thank him enough for hooking me up with some beers. And uh, I wanted to review this one uh, for the holiday season, which is why I'm doing it now, and I have another one from him that I will also be reviewing before the end of the year. Now, I saw Jay's review of this one, um, but I did not watch it. I commented and said, I'm not going to watch until, or I'm, I'm not going to watch it and, uh, you know, check it out until I review it myself, because I don't want to be influenced by tasting notes, and uh, he laughed at that one. But uh, really cool. Never had anything from Dayton. I love that they put the ABV, the IBUs. They have all the ingredients. It says on here, light a fire, put on some holiday cheer, and grab a delicious seasonal treat. Our Christmas stout combines all of your favorite holiday cheer wrapped up in a full-bodied milk stout with layers of cinnamon, vanilla, and molasses dancing on your tongue. It's the perfect compliment to enjoy the holidays with family and friends. Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good beer. So it says Think Dayton, Drink Dayton. It's copyright. Now I'm going to be using the glass that uh, Jay sent in the aforementioned uh, beer mail. Uh, why? Why not? It's a pumpkin glass from New Holland, but who, who cares? I want to christen it with a beer that Jay actually sent to me. So we're going to use it and we're probably going to pour the entire thing in because this looks like it probably holds 16 ounces or so. Anyway, let's give it a pour. Oh yeah, so that's pouring out like this Coca-Cola-like color, I'd say. We should be able to fit the entire thing in here. Maybe it is. Maybe it's maybe it is like a 12 ounce glass. Yeah, I guess it is, or, or maybe like a 14 ounce one. All right, so we got it all in there. Yeah, that that actually has a very, very strong Coca-Cola vibes to it in general, from when I was pouring it to the look in the glass. On camera, it's gonna look pitch black. In person, that is straight up Coca-Cola to me. Like if you pour this in, that looks like Coke, aside from maybe the head being a little bit too big and hanging around because you know the head would have been giant with a Coca-Cola, but it wouldn't be sticking around like that. Yeah, so that's basically a deep dark brown. Um, the head is about a finger and a half of a straight up, I'd say light brown color. Uh, there's some bigger bubbles uh, mixed in with smaller bubbles. It has, uh, there's a big variance between <laughs> the size of the bubbles. So yeah, it looks nice though. It looks like a nice 5.5% uh, milk stout. Now they say full bodied. We'll see. A lot of times, oh, shout out to the train. It's been a while since I had a train in a review. Shout out to the train going by. I'll probably hear it a couple more times, but it's been a while since I've had like um, a 5.5% milk stout, but rarely are they full body. Maybe full body for a 5.5% milk stout, but full body in general, probably not. We'll see. Ooh, that smells delightful. That kind of smells like a, uh, like one of those darker like molasses cookies. There's a big, strong molasses, molasses vibe on here. Molasses, cinnamon, vanilla, for sure. All of them in here. You could even say maybe a little uh, hint of uh, nutmeg. The vanilla is coming off more of like a frosting. Definitely 100% like cookie vibes to this one. But not like sweet, like overbearing. Like more of like a robust, almost decadent kind of nose instead of just a straight on confectionery sweetness. Under Ryan, uh, under Ryan, <laughs> I was gonna, <laughs> under Ryan, underlying, um, Roasted malt, touch of coffee, dark chocolate, more of like a baker's chocolate or like a, a cocoa powder, uh, more so than like an actually like milk chocolate or a sweet chocolate. Oh, man, that molasses is fucking so cool. I'm almost getting like molasses and brown sugar. This this is like a dark molasses, like a like a molasses type of cookie. Uh, it, it's 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 making my mouth water, but it smells so fucking good. It definitely smells pastry esque. Man. This smells way better than I thought it was going to. And again, I try not to go into reviews with preconceived notions, but usually when it's a 5.5% milk stout, even with those adjuncts, it's always like, okay, the body's going to be thin. Uh, the flavors aren't going to be as, like, you know, in your face. It's going to be a lighter drinking beer. But in the nose, this is fucking awesome. It is. So I want to get into it. Cheers, everybody. Thanks again, Jay. And happy holidays. Okay, so the nose was way better, no doubt. The nose was way better, but the taste is nice. 
The taste is kind of what I anticipated. What I just said, rewind it like whatever, 20 to 30 seconds. Yeah, that it's, this is a, a lighter body. I mean, it's not super light body or anything, but it's a lighter, just a light in general. In, in general, a light beer from the flavors to the body and whatnot. It's just like a, a sessionable kind of cookie beer, if that makes sense. Probably doesn't. That actually sounds stupid now. I'll listen back to it. Body in this one's like lower side of medium body, higher side of light. So it's not thin, I think, for the percentage, but it's certainly not full bodied or I'm not getting a full body out of it. The mouthfeel, a little softness there, slight creaminess, but it has a decent amount of carbonation. It's not super carbonated like Coke, but you know, I think the body and mouthfeel are fine for what it is. The taste, right up front, I'm hit with molasses. I'm hit with uh, cinnamon. There is a like cookie-esque, like doughy kind of toasted malt quality too, right at the forefront. So that's all mixing in. It's giving me like molasses cookie. Passes through the palate. The actual beer hits, and the beer is hitting me with uh, light roasted malt, a little bit of like lightly roasted coffee, a uh, touch of that. I think it's a little bit sweeter, dark chocolate, so like a 40 or 50% cacao bar, so it's not quite like a you know unrefined chocolate where you're just getting the flavor of chocolate with absolutely no sweetness. As it passes through the palate, those those flavors continue, maybe a little bit of, um, yeah, like a touch of vanilla kind of comes in for a ride. Um, but on the finish, I'm left with a semi-dry finish, lightly bitter, and uh, a little bit of a sweeter leaning finish, but not too sweet. Like, this is not coin. Again, 5.5%. It's hard to drink a 5.5% stout for me and be like, oh, it's too sweet. When you start getting the 8, 9, 10 range with a lot of those pastry stouts, that's when it starts leaning really sweet and cloying where you're like, I can't finish it. I'm easily going to be able to drink the rest of this can. 5.5%, you can't even tell there's alcohol because it's light. I mean, nowadays it's hard for me under 6% to really be like, oh, I'm getting an alcohol detection here and it's you know ruining the palate. It just doesn't happen. Um, overall, this is nice. This is There's absolutely nothing wrong with this beer. Um, it's it's a Christmas style. It's a milk style. So the milk style I was expecting, maybe a little bit more creaminess, or maybe a bit bigger of a body. But for me, this is, again, like lower side of medium body, we'll say. Uh, cinnamon, yeah, sure. Molasses, yep. Lactose to some extent and a little bit of vanilla yeah so all excuse me all the adjuncts are there it's just it's light and in, in, in flavor what i'm describing you might sound like it's pretty good and it is but they're very light on the palate it's not like a very it's not enveloping the palate like you would expect from something that has a lot of flavor it just just doesn't have as much flavor as you'd expect but pretty good beer overall so uh rating on christmas stout from Dayton, I'm going to go through straight 3.75 out of 5. I think that's a fair score. Uh, you know, nothing more, nothing less. It's a good uh, holiday beer. Now, the price and availability, this is where Jay has to come in because I have no idea what he paid for it. If you could get six packs of this for under 12 bucks, I'd say that's an appropriate price. If you can pay two or less dollars for a can of this, I think that's great because you could drink this a Christmas stout or holiday beer or whatever and not break the bank. And you could definitely session these at 5.5%. And I don't think it's going to weigh down your palate. So if it's more than four, or $12 a six pack, like if it's 14, 16, a little bit, little bit pricey for what it is. And availability, this is where Jay comes in as well. I have never really heard, uh, heard of the Dayton Beer Company outside of a couple of reviews Jay has done. I'd imagine, uh, you know, you can get them around Dayton probably throughout maybe uh, the state of Ohio, but I've never seen them here in Western New York and I'd imagine they don't get great distribution. So Jay, help me out in the comments if you can on the uh, value of this beer and the uh, distro. I would really appreciate it, good sir. And I appreciate you sending me this beer along with the other goodies this class awesome guy. Like I said, go check out his channel. I'll be hitting him back with a beer mail probably early next year. Hopefully he enjoys the beers I sent his way. Uh, I've already reviewed two of the beers in his, um, the, the uh, beer mail he sent. One was Pipeworks Ninja vs. Unicorn. I'll be posting that review sometime in January, uh, but I wanted to get this review out. And then I have another uh, Christmas themed beer from him that I will be posting before the end of the month. So uh, yeah, not much more to say about it. If you've had this one before, let me know what you think about it. Appreciate everybody stopping by for another beer review here on the Beer Patrol. The next one. Cheers.